my parents didn't know I was going to these places. <laughs> so, yeah, I was sneaking out. <laughs> so you were lucky to see Jerry Garcia, right? So how, how, uh, how, uh, what, what, what was your feeling when you find out that he passed away? Well, so I was at his, his last show. That was in Soldier Field in Chicago. And none of us really expected it. Uh, mm. We knew that Jerry had um, diabetes and he was having health issues. And he had some, um, yeah, he was addicted to drugs. So, you know, um, but we, he had just gotten married to Deborah Coons. They got married in February 14th on Valentine's Day, which was a huge shocker for everybody. You know? <laughs> and then he died in July, July. Yeah, because the Soldier Field shows were on the 4th of July weekend. And we had been on tour. So we, I was at the time living in Los Angeles and I was working as a food server. I was working in the restaurant and I was making good money, but you know, also like I could take days off, like months off. And um, after saving up enough money, I'd take a couple of weeks or months at a time off just to go to these shows. And so we had decided to do summer tour. We had gone from Los Angeles all the way up the coast, up through Oregon, Oregon when they had shows in Eugene, and then up to Seattle, and then came back down again through San Francisco at Shoreline Amphitheater. And then we went to, um, did we go through Las Vegas? Yeah, and eventually um, we went to, Missouri, we were also in Indiana. And at that time it was already like, it was intense that summer tour because there were a lot of things that were happening that were not good. In fact, it, something happened in, in Indiana, in Deer Creek where a bunch of the, the kids, and I don't know if they really were deadheads because deadheads wouldn't really do that. Mm. But what happened was that they stormed the gates and then they climbed up the walls and they stormed into the show. And it was right in the middle of the show. And in fact, like you could see the band kind of just watching all of these kids coming, you know, and climbing up and scaling the walls and coming into the show. And some of them apparently were throwing plants, you know. So it was, it was not a good scene. Mm. And... That was the first time in the entire history of the Grateful Dead that they canceled a show. Whoa. They were so upset. And they actually wrote a letter to all the deadheads. And they passed it out to the parking lots. And he, they said how disappointed they were, they were and that that's not something that they would ever expect a, the deadhead how to behave. and and all of that. In fact, I still have that letter. I was looking, because um, I have all my stuff still in Calamba, and I have this huge photo album full of my uh, like tickets and pictures, and, and it includes also that letter from the dead. And so they canceled the show, and after that was Missouri. The show is in Missouri. We're definitely like the, you know, more calm, more relaxed and at this time we were all like a, a bunch of deadheads were camping out in this place and it was a farm and then this farm had a barn and there were two levels that the barn was two levels and that's where the, some of the deadheads decided to go and have their drum circle. And you could hear, you know, we, we didn't go inside, but you could hear that it was really a raging drum circle. They're having such a beautiful time and of course people dance when they do that. And unfortunately the second floor gave in and a bunch of people fell to the first floor and it was a big accident. And 
So it was just like one thing after the other, it seemed like at that time. And then right after Missouri was uh, Chicago. And that was the last show. This was the 4th of July weekend. And I remember it was like, oh, I started finally selling stuff in Shakedown Street. I started making quesadillas mm. and selling. And I remember being the last in that part of the parking lot to be selling anything. And I had lines and lines of people, mostly people from the Midwest who had never heard of a quesadilla before, you know, because it's Mexican food. <laughs> and people will be like, what's a quesadilla? I'm like, try it. And then they would eat it and they'd love it and come back and, and order some more. And so, yeah, those shows were amazing. I remember that they had fireworks and even in the fireworks, they had to steal your face, you know, the steal your face is this and they had fireworks up in the air that it was steal your face. And I, it was just like, really so beautiful the way it just left us all feeling so happy. And right. especially after the past two states, you know, that had gone kind of a little haywire. So yeah, that was the 4th of July. And not long after that, I think it must have been like, I don't remember the exact date when Jerry died. It must have been July 27th or around that time. And his birthday is August 1st. So, yeah, of course, I know. <laughs> I celebrate it every year. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it was, it was a big shock to everyone. It was, and my, my partner at that time had fallen into a very, very deep depression actually and, and we had we had decided we were going to move at that time um we were living in la but we were going to move to san diego mm. and we had such plans you know and we thought that our life was going to still be that way where we're just going to go on tour and enjoy and work and then go back again and just be with the music and the scene and and then Jerry was gone all of a sudden and he, he went into a pretty bad depression for a few weeks. And then finally, when he came out of it, we decided that we would move to the Bay area because if anything was going to happen with the rest of the band members, it was going to be there and that's where we needed to be. Right. So it was then that we moved to um, Oakland and, um, yeah, we moved to Oakland and then ended up in Berkeley, which was the last, uh, the last city that I was living in before I moved back here. 